Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been a little while since I've uploaded anything, but today is going to be extra special. I'm here with Izzy Kornblau, who is a good friend of mine and also a fellow YouTuber. So I will have all of her stuff linked in the description. And we also have done a video that is up on her channel now as well. So be sure to go check that out. Izzy, do you want to introduce yourself and tell everyone a little bit about you? Sure. So I also, just like Mickey, have a type of Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome and I also have POTS. Um, I would say my channel is kind of similar to Mickey's, um, though I do also have an education component to it, I'd say, because I'm getting my master's in genetic counseling. So I kind of like to talk about the science behind EDS and POTS and other comorbidities. Um, also, our video that we did on my channel is us going through all of the different hypermobility tests. So you know that the Baton score is a really commonly one used, but there are older ones, potentially ones that are better. So we're going through all of them. <laughs> So check it out. And it it is so fun. Um, and like she said, she's got some of that like science um, education background to this. And so her videos are so informative and so well done. I tell her all the time that like she's much more professional than I am. So be sure to go check out her videos. And yeah, the one on the hypermobile scale, it was so interesting to, you know, we both did them. Um, together and just to see the differences and all that other stuff super informative and also super fun so be sure to go check that out so today we are going to be ranking just health stuff in general whether it be symptoms or an illness or just like general experiences would you say oh yeah yeah from definitely being sick um and just kind of between the two of us we have we both have eds like izzy said um but we do have some kind of different comorbid conditions and they kind of affect us differently so it'll kind of be just a mix of both of our experiences yeah. um and we're going to have a scale right here it's somewhere izzy will edit it in here all right so for number one we have it's a vibe um that sounds so cringy but we had so much trouble coming up with names for this like how long did we just spend trying to find names for this Izzy? I mean, like over an hour. It was, but it was fun. Yeah, it was like a good time. So for It's a Vibe, it's kind of just like, this is kind of the best one, you know? Like, you know, it's not that bad. Like, I, I can live my life with this. Like, yeah, it's not that big of a deal. It, it's all right. Hmm. I don't, I don't remember number two. Can you tell it to me again? Oh yeah, so not a date breaker. Like you obviously are not super thrilled that this is occurring, but your day is not ruined and it's just not a day breaker. Then we have number three, which is undesirable. It is past the point of like not, you know, wrecking your day. Like this, this is uncomfortable. It is not fun, definitely interrupts your day um, and just flat out undesirable. Then number four, would recommend to an enemy. So in other words, like it really sucks. Like you don't, you do not want to be doing this. Like it is, it is a punishment. Like I absolutely awful. Like I would definitely recommend this to an enemy. Okay. So lastly for number five, we have the absolute worst, like most painful, most debilitating. Um, I would rather be doing anything but this, which we have fittingly nicknamed. I would rather have my computer die mid assignment without saving than ever do this again. All right. Being inpatient in the hospital and being woken up every five seconds to have vitals taken. Recommend to an enemy. It is horrible. Plus, like, I'm just trying to, like, um, I was, okay, so a few years ago, I'd gotten, like, a pretty extensive knee surgery, and I was in the hospital for a few days, mm -hmm. um, and they're putting me on so many meds, so I am exhausted, like, beyond exhausted. And yeah. having somebody come in every 45 minutes to an hour, like, I understand why they're doing it, and, like, of course, I'm nice, like, I'm never rude or anything like that, <laughs> yeah, but, same. like, it's, I just, like, want to clarify, I'm not, like, Girl! Right, yeah. <laughs> like, I'm nice, but I'm just like, oh my god, please! Inside, so you're like, oh. Inside, you're exasperated. Yeah. On the outside, I'm like, oh, hello! Yeah. Here's my arm! Yeah. How about yeah. you? What would you say? I would also say recommend to an enemy um because at some point like in the beginning it's annoying because like also if you're in the hospital chances are you're very tired and you don't feel good like you're in the hospital and so like and also for me like falling asleep in the hospital is difficult and so because i don't feel good and whatever and so like once i finally fall asleep then being woken up all the time for meds or vitals or all that other stuff is like in the beginning it's like okay whatever but as time goes on it gets to be like like nails on a chalkboard just start to get so annoying like 
I would definitely recommend that to an enemy because it's just something like that builds up over time that just gets to be more and more and more annoying. I know exactly who I would recommend this to. I know who you'd recommend yep. it to too. <laughs> yep. All of these recommend to an enemy. Uh, it's, uh, you know exactly who I would recommend it to. Okay, I, I was mentioning this earlier, but um, being busy, but your blood pressure is fine, your heart rate is fine, your oxygen is fine, and your blood sugar is fine. You're just dizzy. Just dizzy for no reason. Like, like for seemingly just no reason. Absolutely dizzy. Yeah, it's like really annoying. Um, yeah. I would put that in the category of not a day breaker, but still definitely annoying. Like because you can you can still kind of go about your day, but you're just like, why is this happening? You know, like mm -hmm. it's annoying, but you can kind of still go on. Yeah, I think it depends on the level of dizziness. Like obviously if it's on the mild side, I would probably agree with you. If it's like a bit more severe, like yeah. it's probably past like even like um, un undesirable, but like, yeah, like I see, okay, yeah. like we're going with miles, like it's just annoying and you've taken care of what you can take care of, then I'd probably put it in not a day breaker. As long as you can still do homework, you can still walk around and that kind of stuff. Meeting a doctor who doesn't know what EDS is, but like still tries <laughs> to like recover from it. Like I had a surgeon one time that had to remove my port and he like, or one of the geneticists that I've seen literally came in with a printed out like page of like, what is EDS being like, so I did some research, like just somebody who has no idea what EDS is. Like oh, immediately yeah. I'm like, this is not going well. Like I, I just know it's not gonna go well from there. Like if they don't know what EDS is. It's a have you had experiences like that? Oh god, have I had experiences like that, girly? Yes, I have. Um, I remember yeah. also the best part was like there was this one doctor, and this is prior to me like knowing that I had EDS. This is like many years ago, um, and also like mm -hmm. over the past few years, more and more doctors have gotten to know it. But like, you know, yeah, like I would agree. more, you know what I mean? But like maybe like four years ago or something, not that many did. Um, and so I remember this one doctor. Who and like I was, she was evaluating me for a specific condition because there were a couple conditions like on the differential, and I was like, oh, and like you know, I was thinking maybe like Ehlers Danlos syndrome, and she was like, that doesn't cause the joint pain, and I was like, mm -hmm, what? And she was like, yeah, that like doesn't even really affect your joints, that like just affects your heart, and I was like, well, um, you know, there's like multiple types, so it's. It, it, she was like, no, yeah, it like that like would not cause you joint issues, so you definitely don't have EDS. And I was like, okay. I was like, I don't really know how to correct you and be like, girl, like you need a new, ma'am, yeah. you need to please do your research, like, but it's weird. That's like the surgeon who went to remove my port like late at night and was like, well, EDS doesn't really affect your blood or your like blood vessels, so that's like, it should be just fine. And I was like, excuse me? Are we talking about the same EDS? Like, it doesn't affect your blood vessels. What are you talking about, sir? Like, yes, I think it he does. was thinking of erectile yes, dysfunction. <laughs> Sometimes people comment on my oh. videos, Mickey, and they're like, I clicked on this thinking it was about erectile dysfunction, and then they're like, I had, oh I had a friend say that to me. I was in the ER for something, and my mom's friend came to bring her food or whatever, and we were talking about EDS. She's like, erectile dysfunction syndrome? And I was oh like, my God. Yeah, yeah. I, I've heard that a lot. Like, oh yes, yeah. they're like, ED? What? I'm like, oh my gosh. Okay, I have another one. Okay. Um, eating your safe food um, and then feeling nauseous or in stomach pain and you feel a little bit like you were just betrayed. Right? Like, I don't have very many yeah. safe things at the moment. Um, but like, I mean, I definitely have in the past, but like for me, like I can drink certain things or like I can have a little bit of soup or ice cream or like a couple of crackers that I can drain. 
Um, and like, so for me, like Dr. Pepper is one of my favorite things. Like I already had a little bit while we were filming this. Um, and sometimes like on a rare occasion, I'll be drinking my Dr. Pepper and it'll feel like I've had something that I shouldn't. And I'm just like, what? Like, no, this isn't happening. Like. I would definitely put that in the undesirable category, like, because it, it, it does, it just feels like betrayal. Like, you're like, what? Yeah. What? I probably put it in, like, it's not a daybreaker. Um, maybe it's just because I used to, like, deal with that stuff all the time. But, like, it's, it's definitely really annoying. Yeah. Okay, maybe I would agree with that. I would say it's definitely one of those two. Yeah. It's more of an emotional challenge than, like, a physical one. Obviously, you can yeah. deal with the physical symptoms. But you're also like super annoyed and then nervous to try it the next time. Right. So you're like, is this gonna happen again? It's like, is was this just a fluke or is this gonna be my new normal? Like, which one is yeah. it? I'm scared. Um, so prior to us both having home health, uh, at least I think you had to do this too. I would have to go to an infusion center. So having to sit in the infusion center for like four to six hours or whatever your, you know, like minimum amount of time was mm -hmm. for a saline infusion and having to sit in the actual infusion center. I never did this. Never mind. Well, I'm gonna rank it. Can I rank it? Yeah, absolutely. Go for it. So if I have the body of somebody who does not have EDS, I would totally put it in the first category. Like, it's fine. What's the first category again? Um, uh, it's a vibe. Like, it, it's a vibe. Like, yeah. Like, not like that bad. Uh, whatever. Like, it's fine. But it hurts because my <laughs> neck is like really annoying. My back is really annoying. Yeah. And then you're like sitting there and like, then I get dizzy because I've been sitting up for so long, which is like literally why I'm getting the saline infusions. But like, it's not like the chairs recline that far. Yeah. And so I'm actively making my symptoms worse and it's so annoying. So I'm not gonna give it the top. I'm probably, I feel bad giving it unfortunate because I'm so like, so thankful that I get to have that. So I'm gonna put it in the second category, which is it's not a day breaker, but it's certainly not fun. Yeah. And see, like, so I never had to sit in an infusion center, but I definitely can relate in, like, other settings. Like, sitting in one spot for hours and hours and hours at a time is, like, uncomfortable. Like, my joints start to hurt and ache. Like, I can't sit in one position for too long. Like, just, okay, I definitely relate to that, even though I never had to, like, go to an infusion yeah. center. Um, but I, I definitely feel you. This is a very, very specific one, and it's kind of gross, but like, just bear with me, okay? Okay. Throwing, throwing up, like, nonstop on an empty stomach, like, so there's nothing in your stomach to throw up, Ow. but you're still vomiting. Do you know what I'm talking about? Oh, I know what you're talking about. And the worst part of it too is that it's not yeah. even like a just in the moment thing. Like, first of all, your stomach's gonna hurt because you're like, nothing's coming out. So like you're contracting your like right. abdomen so hard and then your throat is gonna really hurt. Like your vocal cords are gonna hurt from that acid that's coming up. Like it is bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like to the point where I, like if I'm throwing up like a lot or like if, Sometimes like I won't even have anything in my stomach and I'll still just be vomiting for no reason I will have a cup of water next to me so that like in between Throwing up I will take a drink of water just so that there's something in my stomach to throw up because I Hate throwing up on an empty stomach when there's nothing coming up But just like pure stomach acid like oh my gosh or nothing at all like that is I would say to me that is either would recommend to an enemy or the absolute worst. Like, it is one of those two for me. For me, it's so definitely you recommend, like for me, it's recommend to the enemy. And like, let me tell you okay. why. It's horrible, but like, <laughs> When like if you if you were just gonna like throw up stomach acid like and then you have like a cold glass of water and then you're throwing up something that like mixes with your stomach for like 60 seconds and then it comes out again like it's kind of like nice to have that okay, chilling I know effect I, like okay. <laughs> yes I know what you're talking about okay it's it can so be wrong. like yeah it can be it can be soothed a little bit but anyways so like I I agree with you we'll say recommend to an enemy because it's definitely bad but like it can be like. 
improve the look. It can be, yeah. You can, I don't. Yeah, I also have like an another thing to add to it, like because your throat's gonna hurt for like days following, you get to suck on a lot of cough drops and like you have an excuse to do that. For me, it's popsicles, not cough drops. I'm not a big fan of cough drops. Um, Wait, so what, do you, what did you say? I... Pastilles? What? Oh, no. I didn't say pastilles. What'd you say? <laughs> I said, um, for me, I don't, mine's popsicles. Oh, popsicles. I don't really, I'm not a big fan of cough drops. So for me, like it's my excuse to have like popsicles or ice cream or something. You gotta find one that's like the, like for the worst category. Like, cause we haven't done one of those yeah. yet. What's something that's like the worst? I mean, for me, it's like feeding tube pain. It is like that, but you don't have a feeding tube. Um, well, I mean, for me, it's like probably like unrelenting nausea and like yes, okay, yeah. yeah I would probably say like fun. unrelenting nausea yeah. is like probably in that worst category of like what is what even is the worst category? Like I'd rather yeah, I would my, certainly rather have my exam yeah, like sorry, like my my paper not save and have my computer die. Yeah. So for this one, nausea and not just like any type of nausea. Like we discussed, you know, vomiting before, but like nausea that just will not go away like debilitating nausea um like you know if i'm in pain or something like depending on the level of pain i can still function but like there's a point when i get nauseous that like i cannot do anything i cannot push past it like it completely oh, yeah. stops whatever i'm doing and it is the only thing that i can focus on it is horrible Terrible. Yes. I like used to have gastroparesis <laughs> just for context, and like I don't anymore. Um, I mean, like I don't, you know what I mean. Like it's a crap ton better. Yeah. yeah. Though I do want to add something about the vomiting thing. It's not the, the the nausea thing. Just for like clarity purposes. I don't know. Like for somebody who has had gastroparesis, I don't vomit a lot because my gag reflex is like really messed up. I don't know. Um, so just wanted to throw that in there. So like that unrelenting nausea was something that I used to deal with a lot, but like. I wouldn't be vomiting from it like it would just like I couldn't like no matter what I did I could not throw up sometimes like and it's yeah. horrible I would rather throw yeah. up than just be nauseous for hours though uh, like a hundred percent girl like, yeah if you would have asked me 10 years ago I would yeah, have like, said I would rather do anything besides throw up and after <laughs> being sick for so long like I would much rather just throw up and get it over with than be nauseous for hours like I cannot handle that. I can't. Another thing that's like absolutely in my worst category ever, um, which I, I, obviously you're not going to be able to relate to this, but I know a lot of like people who are watching will, is feeding tube pain. So I have a GJ tube and like I was just telling Izzy that I'm having an issue right now with my feeding tube. Um, and like there are certain things like either whether it be an infection or granulation tissue or like surgery. Um, there are certain things that cause my feeding tube to be excruciatingly painful, like screaming, crying, like just the worst pain I've ever felt in my life. Like the worst pain I've ever felt in my life has been with my feeding tube and it is horrendous. Like I would rather do anything else. Like I would rather die than do that for hours, hours, hours. Like it is the worst pain I've ever felt in my life. Like. 100% my worst category right there. Oh, what about like when, this is more like for me a couple years ago, but like when you start going to like either syncope or pre-syncope, I don't, I don't lose consciousness. So like pre-syncope for me or like near syncope and like you fall to the ground and then people that you're with get like really concerned and you're like, give oh me a gosh. minute to like, like let me feel crappy for literally 20 seconds and I will respond about what just happened. Like, and they're like, are you okay? Are you okay? And I'm like, ah! gosh I hate that like when I either if I almost pass out and I like have to sit down for a second or I'm like oh or if I actually do pass out which is it happens kind of frequently like yeah and like I passed out in public like I passed out at different places and um, like I passed out at college twice which was uh, not a vibe um, and like ah, hair in my mouth <laughs> I can't get it what the heck oh I got it okay 
um, like the reaction from people, like everyone's always like, oh my gosh, are you okay? And in reality, you're just like, just give me a second. Like, I'm fine. Like, I don't, I don't need, like, just give me a second. Like, stop yeah. making such a big deal out of this. Like, I'm fine. Like, just let me have a moment. And then like, you have to try to convince them. Like, if I do pass out, they're like, I'll call, call 911. I'm like, no, trust me. Like, please don't. Like, I'm fine. Like, you have to try to explain to people, like, just give me a little bit of space and I'm fine. And they're like, no, you're not. You're like having an issue. Oh my gosh. How do you do that? Yeah. Cause I struggle with it every time. Yeah, it is hard, but for me, keep in mind, I don't lose consciousness, so nobody is ever seeing me lose consciousness and then having me, like, convince them that I'm fine. It's more like if I say I'm fine, they're like, okay, like, are you sure? Or, like, they start talking to me before I'm able to, like, tell them that I'm fine because I just need a second to, like, breathe and let my heart rate calm down. Um, yeah. So then it's, like, it's more that for me and not, like, that. no, please don't call 911 because I've never had that happen. Yeah. Um, but I don't know, what category would you put this in? I feel like it's not a day breaker. I would say for me, it depends. If it's like the, I'm like not well and they're like, are you okay? And I'm just like, I need a second. Like I can't really communicate that I'm okay. So they're like, whatever. I would say that's not a day breaker. Yeah. Um, but I would say for me, like if I pass out like fully around people and they're like, ah, I would say that that is most definitely undesirable. Like undesirable for sure like it is it's awful it's embarrassing it is just like i just want to like duck my head down and just leave like yeah undesirable it is just not fun <laughs> okay but last question what would you put yeah. in it's a vibe because do, i don't know if we have one Maybe unbuttoning your pants after you eat in a, like at a greater frequency than like the regular yeah. person because of like bad bloating that's painful. I would say like bloating, like mild bloating, like mild. after whatever. I would say like it's a vibe. Like you know, I I can deal with that. I might look a little pregnant, but like I can deal with that. Or like yeah, you it know, hurts, but yeah, stiff joints. Like if I if i was walking too much or whatever and like the next day like i'm sore and i'm tired like you know i can as long as it's not terrible like you know it's, it's a web yeah. I, can, I could live with that I, I can move on um you know like over like ex exerting yourself or something like you know i could because it also means that i did something fun like so you know I, I i can do that well the only thing though with bloating is like when it's so bad that like i used to have consistent bloating that like never went away like literally yeah. almost never went away at any time and then like all of my wardrobe like wouldn't fit me like it's not like oh it looks bad like no it would not fit right. me yeah. um <laughs> that that's worse than a that vibe yeah sucks. yeah all right well there's kind of a bunch of different things that we ranked um, if you guys want to rank what we said um, in the comments, if you want to like respond and say where you would rank things, or if you have other symptoms or conditions or whatever you would like to rank, go ahead and create your own little system and we can read through them and respond. Thank you guys so much for watching. Izzy, this was so much fun to film. I'm glad that we finally got a chance to do this. Yeah. Um, so many people have been wanting us to collab for a long time. Yes, me too. And Izzy and I have been friends for a while and we've definitely wanted to do it um so it's just been so much fun make sure to go check out the video on her channel as well all of that will be linked in the description go subscribe to her can i also pop in for a sec yeah um my boyfriend is for for work has been like traveling to minnesota um yes. near to where mickey lives and so i might pop along with him one time so that way i can see yes. mickey in person and like hang out for like a day or two um so maybe we'll get to film in person sometime soon Yes, if you come here, I'm like, we're absolutely gonna vlog. Like, we're gonna go around I'm so Minnesota. Excited. Yeah. And like, I'll show you around. We'll go to like, the my dad went to the Mall of America yesterday and I almost went with him. Like, I almost went with him with um, my boyfriend. We almost tagged along. Um, also, yeah, you guys will know this yet. I have a boyfriend. It's a thing. You can go oh. to Instagram and check that out if you want. Um, but they're uh, so cute. Um, but we'll like vlog, like we'll go to Mall of America and like other places and we'll like vlog the whole experience. Like we can vlog us meeting, like, oh my gosh, it'll be so much fun. Oh, I can't wait. Vlog us, oh, meeting. Yeah. You, I really would like have to come. Please do, please, please do. 
Also, what would you guys like to see if Izzy and I were together in person? What would you like to see? Yeah! Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, again, it was so fun to have you here, Izzy. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye, Izzy. Bye!